lights on Christmas on Christmas trees in 1882. And I'm glad he did because I sensed many a fur coat getting too close to the candles to put presents under the trees. And you know, buddy, a lot of customs have come and gone over the years, but the Christmas tree remains a tried and true tradition. Yeah. Well, you know, Santa, real trees like this one here, they are my favorite. Uh, I also like to smile, but real trees are my favorite. Santa, what kind of tree do you and Mrs. Claus have? Well, buddy, Mrs. Claus and I always put up a real tree. Uh huh. And I think Mr. Jingle's next clue might help you understand why. This? Uh, that one. Oh, a bird? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Birds and other wildlife benefit from a real Christmas tree because after Christmas, you can take your Christmas tree and put it in your yard, and it can be a sheltered bird feeder. And they barely hear it. No, no. <coughs> so what's going on here now? Welcome to Egypt, land of the sun and sand. I am Isis, goddess of the earth, goddess of magic, and the giver of light. Let us now hear of our celebration. Here, let it be told how our ancient ones celebrated the rebirth of the sun and the rebirth of the sun god Horus with a festival at the beginning of the new solar year. Horus is the son of Osiris and Isis. According to Egyptian legend, Osiris, leader of all the gods on earth, and his wife Isis brought peace, order, arts, and crafts to our world. And let it be known also that the legend tells how Osiris was killed by his jealous brother Set, who wanted the throne of Osiris. December 21st is the date Osiris was entombed after his death. At this time, Isis circled the sarcophagus seven times. One, two, two three, Four, five, six, seven! <laughs> Osiris was then reborn as their son Horus, the sun god, who is called the light of the world. We celebrate this event with a 12-day festival representing the 12 divisions of our sun's calendar. Our decorations include 12 palm shoots, since palms are said to put forth a new shoot each month. Who would like to help us decorate with some palms? Okay. We also celebrate by decorating outside of our houses with oil lamps that burn all night long. Midnight, our priests reenact the birth of Horus <laughs> by emerging from the temple, bringing out the in image of an infant. Everyone, repeat with me Isis has brought forth. Isis has brought forth. The light is waxing. One more time. Isis has brought forth. Isis has brought forth. The light is waxing. The light is waxing. 
programa em Healthcare. <risos> Cheese, guys. Cheese. Okay. There you go. So, I'm going to turn it over to the sun again. Cheese. The star of the show. And he's going to explain what we're doing here this evening. Oh, great job. So, what's your name? Not anymore. You're the Earth. Oh. Give a big hand for Stan the Earth. Yeah. 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 Show there. What we got? We've got our favorite home planet. That's worth an ooh. Ready? Ooh. Okay. Ah, oh, so we went to a million different globe stores until we finally found this. The most best Earth globe huh? ever. Chris who? Yes, it is. It Isn't it that nice on the telescope? Like yes. There he is. He will take three faces. Like Which means it's better. Oh, 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 
just like our real Earth, it rotates around an imaginary line called man. an axis. <gasps> Chris is playing the role of the sun from the telescope place of Zeratory Park. Anybody know how long it takes for the Earth to rotate around its axis? Show one more time, Earth. Go ahead and give it one more turn. How long does that take for the Earth to rotate once? Go ahead. 24 hours. Nice job! A day! About 24 hours! Well done. But we don't get a winter solstice every day, right? We only get a winter solstice once every... Yeah. You folks are the best. All right, we need to model a year. Are you ready, Earth? Okay, this part's a little tricky because not only do you have to rotate every day, but you've also got to walk in a circle around me to orbit the sun. You ready to try it out? All right, yeah. go for it. We have total confidence in you, Earth. You've got this. Rotating, orbiting. Good rotating, job. Orbiting. Very nice. Let's do one more. Yeah. Rotating. Yeah, Let's do one more. Freeze it there! That was amazing! Give him a hand! Good job. I feel older. I do. I, I do feel older. older. Happy birthday twice. You just got two years older. Uh, huh. So yeah, the Earth rotating around its axis once makes a day, and orbiting around the sun makes a year. Alright, but if we need to figure out why we get this weird, dark, cold winter solstice once every year, we need to make one more change to our model. Are you ready? Oh, this part's pretty advanced. It's where it gets tricky. You up for it? Oh, nice. Here we go. You've got to tilt your axis stick, just like the Earth's axis stick. Can you go ahead and point the stick that your Earth turns around at that North Star over there? Ooh. Oh, very oh, nice. Ooh. Wow, that looks like about 23 and a half degrees there. That's pretty excellent. Oh. And just like the real Earth, you're going to stay tilted so that your stick always points at the North Star and nowhere else. Because that's what the Earth does. By an amazing coincidence, the imaginary line the Earth turns around happens to be pointed at that North Star. Okay, you ready, Earth? This is going to be your trickiest challenge yet. Because you're going to have to rotate the Earth through the days by turning the crank and walk around me to show a yearly orbit. And while you're doing that, you've got to keep your stick always pointed at her North Star. Oh, it's like <laughs> chewing gum and walking and juggling at the same time. You ready to try it, Earth? All right, give him a hand if you think he's ready. Yay! You can do this, Earth. Ready? Go! I like this. Rotating. Looking good. Orbiting. Keeping that tight. Oh, nice. I think the one eye close is really working That's for you. Good job. Very nice. Very nice. That was amazing. <laughs> and that's what's happening tonight. Do you mind giving us a tilt one more time just so they can see it? Ohio on the north half of the planet is tipped away from the sun and towards the North Star. That means you spend a lot of time on the shady side of the Earth. Long nights, cold temperatures, short days. <laughs> oh, that, was, that ooh had a shiver into it. Nice. But starting tomorrow, that all changes. As the Earth orbits around me, God, show one more orbit. You're going to tilt a little bit back towards me, the sun. And starting tomorrow, your days get longer. Your nights get shorter. And I promise in about four months, your temperatures will get warmer. Let's give our Oh man, four months. are hard when you're the sun. <laughs> exactly, everybody gets burned. Oh, nice. So everybody who lives on the north half of the planet has a way to celebrate tonight when the days go from getting shorter to getting longer. And I think we're going to hear about some of them. We sure are. So now that you've learned the science behind the solstice, the next up is going to be the origins of the Christmas tree. And then after that, I think there's some Egyptians, some ancient Egyptians coming to visit. And last but not least... The Northern Barbarians. Ooh. So we hope you stick around for all of those. And please make sure you visit um, the big room behind you. You can the see the barbarian. lights through the window. There's the Pilgrim Brass Choir and refreshments. There's also a lighted solstice trail around the building. And I see some folks in the front here have their paper lanterns or their plastic lanterns that they made in the classroom. So you can do a little craft where you're...
This is cool. Johnny with us? No, I said that. Okay, we gotta wait for him. Hold on. Where's he at? There he comes. This is cool. Here, I can get your faces now with the light. Turn around, cheese. Car lights are ruining it. Yeah, don't fall in a pond. This is cool looking. What's this mistletoe? That thing hanging right there? This is the mistletoe right there. That's the mistletoe. I kissed my hand and touched it. <laughs> the Yule log. Sit on the log and make a wish and kiss the log for good luck. Well, I don't know if I'm kissing any logs. 
yeah. But sitting on it could be nice thrust. <laughs> it's a Yule log, and that's the whole story behind the Yule log there. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. So, oh no! I technically kissed it. That's what I did with the. What's going on? Just kissing logs over here. I kissed it. I said kissing. <laughs> Okay, what's this all about here? Saturnalia. This giving of evergreen was a sign of love and friendship. Please help yourself to a piece of greenery and carry it to the next station. What's this? Saturnalius. Grab a piece for me of the evergreen. Okay. There he goes. Winter solstice celebration. Jaga County Metro Park system. The Westwoods. Next door to the Geodestic Dome. On December 21st, 2019. Okay. Gonna take some of the Saturnalia evergreen and throw it in the fire over here. The hearth fire. So you see the common theme? Across civilization, right? The longest night, the darkness, and the idea of light. Yeah, seriously? Try to bring light to fierce. Oh, that's not mine. Put it out! No, it didn't. Someone else put someone on it. Alright, I'll throw it out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>